Twilight Comes Twice by Ralph Fletcher As read by Jeff Harden Twice each day, a crack opens between night and day. Twice twilight slips through that crack. It stays only a short time, while night and day stand whispering secrets before they go their separate ways. Dusk is the name for evening twilight. Dusk gives the signal for night to be born. Dusk deepens the colors of ordinary things. Even the common grass takes on a luster that makes you stop to look. In the summer, dusk hisses on the sprinklers. It flushes out millions of mosquitoes and armies of bats to eat them. Fireflies appear, swimming through the air, writing bright messages in secret code. Slowly dusk pours the syrup of darkness into the forest. Crows gather in the trees for last minute gossip before nightfall. In the park, dusk will let the kids finish, if they hurry, the little league game on the baseball diamond. Two fishermen stand at the edge of a lake, casting far out into the fading light. Street lights flicker on in the deepening dusk. Trains bring people home, hungry and tired from work. Dusk prepares for the great celebration of night. It sets the table carefully. Venus, a few stars, perhaps a crescent moon, when the sky is full and singing with stars, you know that twilight has given way to true night. In the early morning, a pale twilight touches the edge of the sky. It is called dawn. Dawn is like a seed that will grow into daylight. 
With invisible arms, dawn erases the stars from the blackboard of night. Soon, just the moon and a few stars remain. Dawn picks bits of dark from between the blades of grass in her backyard. No job is too small. In the forest, Dawn drinks up night's leftover darkness, the great black pools, and deep-rooted shadows. Walking at dawn is a special kind of walk. Sounds ring out more clearly. The air is still moist from the cool of the night. And her own skin feels all tingly clean. Dawn signals the crows to start their jabbering. What a racket they make in the willow tree. Down below, three robins hop through wet grass, shopping for breakfast worms. Spiders rouse themselves, still stiff from the night, and go to work repairing their dew-spangled webs. slowly brightens the empty baseball field, polishing the diamond until it shines. At the lake, a boy sits quietly, trying not to disturb fish coming up to feed. Streetlights flicker off. A delivery truck leaves a bundle of newspapers on the sidewalk. Outside the bakery, the smell of donuts makes your stomach rumble and growl. As you set your table for breakfast, dawn sets its own table with light that ushers in a brand new day. Twilight Comes Twice by Ralph Fletcher As read by Jeff Harden